We're working with a number of companies that are doing uh, uh, continuous monitoring and uh, using edge uh, computing and also using AI. And in uh, this particular image, uh, you see the camera mounted in an enclosure. It's a pressurized enclosure. So um, it's obviously weatherproof. In this particular case, it's a class one div two enclosure. And um, so it just learns the scene. That it's on a pan and tilt, so it just does a 360 degree loop, basically stops and stares at the various pieces of equipment they want to look at. And then as it learns it over time, uh, then if there's something like in the bottom image, you start to see the, the gas leak. And then uh, it has regions of interest that surround where the gas is going. It then highlights and colorizes it, much like we do in that gas enhancement mode. And then the final part of it, they're optically then uh, quantifying that as well. So they're not using any other sensors at this point. Uh, they learn the scene and then they're able to, um, uh, to use the quantification so that they can set alarms. And from the alarms, those drive into either a SCADA system, a PLC, a uh, digital control system, whatever they might have. And then that basically tells the operator you know, to, um, to investigate that scene further. The reality is, is that video is not even being shown in a control room. It only comes up when they need to look at it when it's indicated that there's a gas leak in the facility. Um, with the way that the regulations appear to be headed towards this continuous monitoring is going to be a very important thing. That is also why on this camera with the hot mid-wave infrared detector, um, the, as I mentioned, the increased reliability of the integrated doer cooler assembly is really important because now you're doing this 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Um, so, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a very important part of, um, uh, you know, going forward with the way that the regulations appear to be headed.